Why can't you insert a tampon? I'm here to answer that question for you. My name is Krista Norwick. I'm a pelvic physiotherapist, and here at Karen Physiotherapy, we empower you to make informed decisions about your health. Okay, you can insert a tampon, and you want to be able to use a tampon. I get it. They're really convenient. Technically, you should be able to insert a tampon. So if you can't, then there's something that we can probably help you with. Oftentimes, you can't insert a tampon for one of two reasons. One is it's too painful, and two is it's too tight or it feels like there's a physical block that you can't get the tampon past. In either scenario, there is a big pelvic floor muscle component to that. If you're wanting to use a tampon, you have a vagina, so... I'm going to show you my pelvic floor model here. So this is from below. So these are your two sit bones. This is your pubic bone, clitoris, urethra, vagina, anus. This is where your pelvic floor muscles are. You've got all these red muscles that help to contract when you need strength and relax when you need them to open and relax. In order to insert a tampon, this is one with an applicator and I'll show you without in a second. You need to be able to insert the tampon into the vaginal canal. The angle is going to depend a little bit on your anatomy and the tightness of your pelvic floor, but generally you want to try to angle the tampon a little bit down towards your anus. So in more of a posterior or back angle that way. So sometimes that's all the tips you need is to know to angle it that way and not up towards your pubic bone or even straight in. Angle it this way a little bit. I'll show you one, a tampon without an applicator. As you can see, this actually is a little bit smaller. So you might have an easier time inserting a tampon without an applicator because it is a little bit smaller. Or for some people, it's a bit harder because you're just not comfortable with the dexterity of your fingers. If you've tried inserting your finger before and you're able to do that okay, but then when you try to insert a tampon, you're not able to do that, then you could try using one of these ones because this isn't really any bigger than my finger. So you take the plastic off of these and you wanna make sure the string is loose so that you can pull it out later. There we go. And then find your vaginal opening and then you'll just want to insert your tampon and you can push it just by using the one finger. So you've got a bit of a smaller um, surface area. You want to try to angle it a little bit more towards your anus. So in more of a posterior direction or backwards direction as you're inserting. So of course you don't want to do it right at the entrance. As you're inserting, you angle it down a little bit. Now the con with these ones, if you're having a hard time using tampons, is that the plastic is a slightly smoother surface. So it might slide and glide a little bit easier. Whereas this is not a smooth surface. So it may not glide as well. So you might have to play around with that a little bit. Now, if that doesn't help, there's a chance that these muscles all around here that control the opening of your vaginal canal are too tight for you to be able to insert your tampon. These muscles are too tight, that can become painful, and it can also just be restrictive. So what you need to learn how to do is actually relax your pelvic floor muscles. Open those muscles up to allow you to then insert the tampon. So the absolute best way to learn how to do that is to work with a pelvic physiotherapist because we can teach you how to fully relax your pelvic floor. You can work with one of our pelvic physiotherapists at Karen Physiotherapy because we see our clients virtually over video call. To give you a summary of what it feels like to relax your pelvic floor, if you're sitting right now, sit up onto your sit bones. So see if you can feel your two bony sit bones if you rock side to side. You should feel your two most firm bony sit bones. Okay, so now you felt where your sit bones are. And so all that squishy tissue in the middle between your pubic bone to tailbone and out to your sit bones, that's your pelvic floor. So in order for your pelvic floor muscles to open, so to open the entrance of your vaginal canal, 
to allow for tampon insertion, you need to be able to move your pelvic floor muscles in a downward direction. And the best way to do that is by taking a big, deep inhale. So we know based on research studies that your pelvic floor muscles move with your respiratory diaphragm, both move down at the same time and they both move up at the same time, down and up, down and up. So as you breathe in, your pelvic floor muscles move downwards and open. So your vagina will actually open. As you breathe out, your pelvic floor will move up a little bit and tighten. Why don't you try that out now? Take a few deep breaths. And as you inhale, see if you can expand the tissue between your sit bones down towards the surface you're sitting on. And try not to hold your breath, but as you breathe in, breathe down towards your pelvis and see if you can move your pelvic floor muscles down as you do that. It might actually feel like you're opening your anus. It's usually easier to feel your anus than your vagina because you're so used to opening your anus to pass a bowel movement. So if it feels like you're opening your anus, almost like you're about to pass a bowel movement or pass gas, you're doing the right thing. So you can practice this throughout the day and you can also try this when trying to insert your tampon. So breathe deep, breathe down into your pelvis, open up your pelvic floor, then try to insert. But like I said, the absolute best way for you to learn how to do this properly and safely is to work with a pelvic physiotherapist. So to book with one of us, you can visit the link in the description of this video and we'd be happy to help you and we can teach you how to do this all online. All right, best of luck with everything. I hope that you can insert a tampon soon and please reach out if you have any questions or you can write in the comments below. Take care.